Hello booktube, so this is another attempt at a reading vlog. Um, I'm going on holiday today, I'm only staying away for three nights and I'm going to stay in a little shepherd's hut um, down in North Devon. Uh, excuse me if you can hear the needy cat in the background, he's um, not coming with me so he's not very happy about the fact that I'm going away. Um, but yes, so it's Sunday morning and I'm coming back on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to drive down early. I can't check in until late afternoon. Um, but I'm going to drive down early because there's a little uh, picturesque village that I want to explore that's only a mile or two away from where I'm staying. Um, so I'm going to go there until I can check in. Um, and then, yeah, it's just going to be two full days um, in the little shepherd's hut that I'm staying in um, which I think is just going to be two full days of reading and then on Wednesday um, when I come home I have to check out quite early so I'm thinking that I might go and explore um, a little seaside town um, that's on the way back um, that I want to go to um, as well so that's what I'm doing so I also have to pick an audiobook it's about a, an hour and a half to two hour drive from here so I have to pick an audiobook to listen to on the way, um, which I haven't done yet. Um, I know I'm supposed to be doing Becca's Bookopolathon, um, but yeah, the audiobook's going to be an addition and it's not going to be part of the Bookopolathon because I don't, I don't tend to listen to audiobooks that quickly. Um, but yeah, so I'm just looking forward to four days where I can just rest and recuperate um it's been a very very busy uh nine months um at work uh, i better get a move on otherwise i'm not going to be leaving here on time so as you can see i'm now up i'm dressed i'm in my car ready to go so all i've got to do is plug my phone in and start my audiobook playing and then i am on my way so it's about an hour and a half to two hour drive to where i'm going to be today during the day um, and then it's only like five ten minutes apparently to where I'm staying um, later on this afternoon so I've picked my audiobook I'm going to listen to Raced by Kay Blomberg it's um, a novella set after the end of her Driven series I think um, so yeah so I thought it's only four hours long so it'll do the journey there do the journey home so I shall be listening to that one once I get on my way. I probably won't stop on the way down. So the next time I put anything up will probably be when I'm in Clavelli.
Hi again. So I have arrived on my holiday. Um, I'm in a really lovely little um, shepherd's hut. Um, I drove down this morning. Um, I'm staying near a small village called Clavelli uh, on the North Devon coast. And I drove down this morning to spend some time in Clavelli um, before coming to the holiday home. Um, there should be some uh, footage from there and uh, the odd photo uh, previous to this and also I've uh, taken some um, a small bit of video of the inside of the little hut that I'm living in um, for the next three days uh, and the accommodations it's really cute it's really sweet it's just as gorgeous as it was um, in the photos that I saw on the website where I booked it uh, the owners are really lovely, really friendly. Um, they've left me a little basket of uh, um, some goodies with some odds and ends to use. I, uh, but yes, I am here. It is now about half past three, I think, uh, quarter to four. So I have my book club meeting this evening. Um, that's at eight o'clock. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the Wi-Fi will be okay and I will be able to do my meeting. I did a little bit of reading um, down in Cl down in Clavelli, but it was only about 20 pages. It was only about 20 minutes worth. Um, I did listen to part of Raced, which was the audiobook I picked up to read um, on my way down. And I got through about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters of it, I think. Um, it didn't take me quite as long to drive down as I thought. So I'll probably have to speed it up to listen to it on the way home. Um, but yes, it's actually not a novella set in the same world. What it is, is uh, Kay Bromberg, after she wrote Driven, um, some of her fans and vloggers who really, really enjoyed the book uh, started clamouring for certain parts of that book from Colton's point of view. So there, it's certain um, chapters uh, told from Colton's point of view. It's not like we've seen recently with Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey where the authors have completely retold the story from um, the male character's point of view. This is just certain elements where it would be useful to know what Colton's point of view was. I've read it a couple of times before and thoroughly enjoyed it so I'm really enjoying listening to it again. Um, and the narrator, I can't remember the name of the narrator, but the narrator that uh, Christy used um, really does embody the voice of Colton for me so really really loving that and I'm going to look forward to listening to that on the way home on Wednesday. So uh, I've just realised that I didn't actually tell you what I plan on reading this weekend so I've got three books currently on the go and I want to try and finish one, two, maybe all three, I don't know um, but the first book that I have brought with me is God's Grave by J. Christoph. Um, this book, I'm about a third of the way through, it's uh, my library book um, and they only let me renew three times online so I've got to finish this now by mid-October otherwise I'm going to have to give it back unfinished. Um, I could check it back in and check it back out again I think in the library but yeah so I want to get that one finished like I say about a third of the way through so I'll see how I get on with that one the second book is another one that I'm part way through um it's Ariadne by Jennifer Saint um I took the cover the dust cover off before I came with me um so that it didn't get lost uh because knowing me I would lose it and ruin it um so I've left that one at home which is why you can't see what this is but yeah, again, I'm I'm about two thirds of the way through this one, so I'm a bit undecided which one I'm going to read first. Probably Ariadne, and then I've also got my Kindle with me because I am reading Traitors to the Black Crown or Traitors of the Black Crown by Kate Pierce, uh, which was a book I had for review, um, which released on the 22nd of September. It's now the 26th, and I haven't finished it and I haven't uploaded the review, so I need to get that done as well. Uh, I'm about halfway through that one so not sure if I can finish that one I'm I'm thinking I might read some of Ariadne now um, and then tra some more of Traitors of the Black Crown a bit later Traitors of the Black Crown like I say I'm halfway through it and I haven't really got to the plot um, I know that one of the main characters wants to kill the Queen 
I know that the other main character um, is allied with the Queen, but is dissatisfied with what's going on because of relating to the Queen's son, something relating to the Queen's son, which I'm is more hinted at, but you haven't, you don't really know exactly what it is that's going on, um, what actually happened between her and the Queen's son. So I'm a little bit confused, but the, this first fifty percent has been more about the romance between the two main characters than anything else at all. So yeah um it's more romance than it is fantasy and the way it's pitched is more fantasy than romance i don't mind i love fantasy and romance and having them both in the same book um is just you know brings the best of both together for me however i want to know more i've got a feeling we're probably going to get rushed through the actual plot now and um it's supposed to be the first book in a series i'm not sure how many there is going to be but yeah I need to get on and read some more of that one um hopefully I can finish that one in the next couple of days and then get a review up when I get home on Wednesday um thankfully NetGalley don't mind if you put late reviews up so yeah so I think um I've made myself a cup of coffee uh decaf because I can't do caffeinated in the afternoon um so I've made myself a cup of coffee I've got a pot of hot chocolate uh, that I can make up a bit later on if I want. I've got Prosecco in the fridge. Uh, yes, so lots of supplies. I've got chocolate crisps. I've got all, all the good reading snacks. Not good for my waistline, but I'm on holiday. You're allowed to eat badly while you're on holiday. Okay, so it's quite a bit later on now. I think it's about uh, 10 to 9 in the evening. Um, as you will see from the previous clip, I've got the wood burning stove going. Um, it got a little bit chilly. It started to rain. I'm looking a bit red and flush now. Um, yes, I've had a couple of cups of coffee. I poured myself a glass of Prosecco, only now it's chucking it down with rain. And this is the only, only negative uh, that I found um, with where I'm staying is that I have to run around the back of the hut um, across to where my car is parked to get to the fridge so there will be no more Prosecco this evening because I'm not going out in that rain um, but anyway I'm just popping on uh, briefly because uh, we've just finished our book club meeting that we, um, for the September book um, I think we all kind of agreed um, but we all had different approaches to the book in the first place um but I just thought I'd pop on because um there's a tv program I want to watch at nine o'clock it's the last in the series so I really want to finish watching that because it was left on a cliffhanger last week but in between the book club meeting and that I have finished and this afternoon I've finished Ariadne um and I've thoroughly enjoyed this book my initial thoughts are that it's four and a half stars 4.25 it's not five stars, but I did absolutely love it. And it has absolutely cemented the fact that I am really enjoying uh, Greek myth retellings. Um, I haven't said it in this uh, vlog, but Ariadne um, is based around uh, the myth of um, Theseus and the Minotaur. At least that's how it starts. Uh, but it's told from the perspective of Ariadne and partially from her sister's perspective, Phaedra. So it's another book that takes into account the view of the women uh, from those times rather than telling it from the male point of view. Um, and she has taken the um, story of Ariadne, uh, who then became married to Dionysus. And um, she, she has given it a little bit of a feminine twist. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the themes in here about uh, sisterhood and family and how even even when things start with the purest of, it, of intentions, they can be twisted and things can hurt them um, and turn them around. Um, it also, it doesn't deal with grief, really. It could do in some ways. Um, it could have done, rather but it doesn't, she doesn't follow that path. Uh, 
but I, I did thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And I'm very, very glad that I've picked this up um, and that I have a couple of others uh, that are waiting on my shelves at home for when I, for when I get back there um, to pick them up because I think Greek myth retellings are going to be a thing for me at the moment. So I'm thinking once Vigil is done, uh, which is a TV programme I'm watching, I'm thinking that probably I'm going to go on um, and read Traitors of the Black Crown. And because, again, that's on my Kindle, so I can turn the lights out. Um, so I've got the fire going, although the second log that I've put on isn't taking very well. Um, so... Yeah, I'll uh, I will check back in. Um I probably won't check back in now. Um I think possibly it's going to be get ready for bed. Maybe see if I can read a bit more on my Kindle once I've finished watching Vigil and probably won't talk to you again until the morning. Um and I'm not anticipating it being an early morning either because I am on holiday and why should I set an alarm? Morning, it's Monday morning the 27th and it's about nine o'clock in the morning, nine, quarter past nine. Um, I'm up, I've had a shower, I am clean, I am dressed, I have made myself a cup of coffee, I have a um, instant pot of porridge. But yes, I only read a few pages um, after I signed off last night uh, I was feeling actually strangely tired. I don't know whether it was the sea air yesterday being down um, on the coast or the driving or the excitement or what. Um, but yes, uh, I was tired and I pretty much, I didn't fall asleep straight away. Um, my brother messaged me quite late um, and then I was waiting to see if he'd reply and he didn't. Um, so yes, uh, but then it was an awful, awful night. Um, I live in England, English weather. I should have known. Um, however, at the moment we have a break in the weather. It is beautifully sunny outside. Um, hang on, I'll just try and see if I can show you out the door. So this is the view out of the door. So I'm just looking out onto this paddock with the trees. All I could hear yesterday, and you might have heard it in the background, um, is just the wind through those trees. But yeah, I'm just going to stand in front of this doorway. Um, <coughs> so all I could hear yesterday was the wind through those trees and then it started to rain. And yeah, it was um, not an easy night to sleep. Uh, because of it because like I say it's just um, a tin roof uh, so hear all the rain coming down um, yeah I think though before I fell asleep I heard uh, before the rain really started I think I heard an owl hooting this morning I've definitely heard pheasants out in the field which is really lovely um, I'm listening to the birds chirping away now that the rain has stopped and the sky is looking reasonably blue um, but yeah, so the only plans I have for today, so I probably won't check in too often, um, but the only plans I have for today is to read and then maybe later on, mid-afternoon to late afternoon, go and find somewhere to have a main meal because the only facilities here for cooking is a barbecue. I don't barbecue. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go and find somewhere to have a main meal. Um there's a list of places here uh, that she's left which all sound really really lovely um i've got plenty of petrol this is the panic buying weekend i bought my petrol before the panic buying so that i would have enough to get here and back um so yeah so i've got plenty of petrol to get me around and find somewhere um and i will see what happens so i'll check in with you later um i'm reading traitors of the black crown however i'm thinking i might read some of that we seem like we're getting into the plot side of it now rather than the romance side of it. So hopefully the reading will go a lot faster. But also there is a romance book that I bought this week. Um, I downloaded it, uh, pre-ordered it, um, which I know is against the book buying ban. And I did include it in my recent um, haul video. But I really love the sound of it. 
and it sounds really hot and really steamy and I just need something like that at the moment. I haven't read something that sounds that hot and steamy for quite some time um, and quite frankly I miss it. So yes, so I'm going to go and drink my coffee and eat my porridge while looking out across to the trees and listening to the birds um, as they're out getting their morning breakfast and I will check in with you all later. So it's quite a bit later on. Um, it's actually four o'clock in the afternoon and one thing I didn't expect to do this afternoon was have a two hour nap. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I picked up my Kindle this morning and I started reading some more of Traitors of the Black Crown and I suddenly realised that my Kindle had 35% battery left. I charged it before I left home. It was fully charged when I left home on Sunday morning. So 40 minutes of reading yesterday has completely drained the battery. So there's something going on with it um, and I'm not really sure what. So I had to then drive to the nearest big supermarket, which was a good 10, 15 minute drive from here, get a charger cable because I didn't bring one with me because I didn't think I'd need it and come back and by that time it was lunchtime so I had my lunch and then I was feeling sleepy and I woke up about an hour ago um so yeah so I have been doing a little bit of reading um I've switched now to One Day Like This by Scarlett Cole which is the romance book that I downloaded and want to read um because I want to get that finished uh as well um and I want to accomplish something I feel like I can read that and finish it um, today, um, this evening, because um, there's really nothing else that I want to do. Um, I'm going to go out to dinner in about an hour, uh, so I probably will have, um, I'll take my book with me I think, I will take it out with me and I, because I'll be on my own and it just means that I can sit and read while I'm eating. Um, I kind of roughly decided where I'm going to go. Uh, I've had a look um, on Google and pick somewhere. So yes, so I've got, I'm not going to go out for about another hour, I think. Um, I've had a couple of snacks and another coffee. Um, so I might have something else to drink before I go out, another drink before I go out. Um, and yeah, and then come back and maybe update you maybe before I go to bed this evening. So I'll just see how we go. The weather has brightened up here, but it is still very, very windy, though no more rain, thankfully. Uh, so I am looking out at blue skies and listening to the wind in the trees as my background while I'm reading. So this really is turning to the turning into the comfy, cozy uh, readathon that I wanted. Oh, I hello again. Um, when I said talk to you later yesterday, I didn't mean 22 hours later. Um, it's actually quarter to two on Tuesday afternoon now. Um, I did go out to dinner yesterday. Uh, it took me three attempts to find somewhere to stop and eat. Um, first place I tried, I couldn't find the parking. Um, second place I tried, they were fully booked and I was just trying it on a whim. And then uh, where I am, I'm about 10, 15 minutes away from the nearest big town. Um, and it was where I went yesterday to go and get the charge cable for my Kindle. And while I was there, they, they've got this whole um, village there. So there's um, there's McDonald's, there's Starbucks, there's Domino's Pizza, there's a Premier Inn, which is a hotel chain in the UK. And there was a pub there, which is part of a big national uh, UK chain, who do a very nice burger that I quite enjoy um, every time I go in there because it's a little bit spicy. And I just thought, you know what, I'm either going to have Domino's or I'm going to go in there. Um, so I tried the pub, they had a table available, so I grabbed it um, and had some food. But by that time I was just so tired, I didn't really want to vlog when I came back. Because um, I was gone in the end, instead of being gone for about an hour, hour and a half, I was gone for a, the better part of two hours. Um, so I just came back and made myself, got myself some Prosecco and just sat down with my book. Anyway, reading progress. So, um, because I haven't been vlogging or going anywhere, I have, I started, I think, when I spoke to you last yesterday, I'd started One Day Like This by Scarlett Cole. Don't think I actually told you what it was about. It's a romance novel. It's set around um, 
a Manchester band who are trying to make it big and it revolves around one of their guitar players um, and the younger sister of the drummer who the drummer has declared to his bandmates as completely off limits. However, Matt, the um, guitarist, and Izzy, the younger sister, Isabel, they have been in love since they were in their teens. Uh, it's just never been acknowledged or spoken about or acted upon. Um, so it's all about how they get into a situation where they start to act on how they feel and they decide, um, based on the Elbow song, uh, they decide to have one day like this to find out how it would be if they really could be together. And as it turns out, it's perfection. It's exactly everything they thought and hoped it would be. And when they return from the trip that they're on, which gives them that space to do that, they decide that they can't stay away from each other. And it's how they then navigate a relationship in secret um, without her brother finding out, without his bandmates finding out, because it could blow up everything they're working towards. And um, it's how they get through all of that to get to a happy ever after. I really, really enjoyed it. I, I finished it. I finished it um, a little earlier today. Um, I couldn't put it down in the end. And it was exactly what I've been missing um, for a little while, because I haven't really read a lot of romance recently. I have been reading some um, fantasy and obviously the Greek myth retellings, the last couple of books that I've read. Uh, so it really was refreshing to read something that there wasn't all these huge plot lines to follow and and so many characters and yes, yeah, so it was really refreshing to read that. So I, it has actually given me the buzz to pick things up again because um, I was starting to flag a little bit with that. Um, so yeah, so really, really enjoyed it. And actually, I've done something which I haven't done for a very long time. And the author, Scarlet Cole, has um, got a pre-order up already for book two, which is going to be the lead singer's um, story. And I've pre-ordered it. I haven't, I haven't, I cannot remember the last time I saw that the second book was available and I immediately went on and pre-ordered it. Um, I just I just cannot remember the last time I did that or felt it necessary to do that. Um, so, yeah, so it obviously was really, really good for me to read that. I've now gone back to Traitors of the Black Crown. I am almost 80% of the way through it. I really think I have a good chance of finishing it today. Um, like I say, I have to go out again a bit later on to get a proper meal, although it probably isn't going to be a proper meal. I kind of have a craving for McDonald's and it's payday today. So, yeah, might just get McDonald's. Might just get McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> or even Domino's Pizza. I haven't had a Domino's Pizza for ages and they are my absolute favourite. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> uh, food choices. I'm on holiday. I'm allowed to eat junk. Um... So I'm going to go back to that now um, and read some more of that while it's still wet and horrible. I keep periodically opening up the state because the, the, the door in um, to the hut is a stable door. So I keep opening the top half of the door just to let some fresh air in um, and just to just while it's not raining, um, it lets some air and some light in. Um, but yeah, I think I might do that for a little bit and then um, hopefully I might be in the mood. I might have the um, might have the energy to update you before I go to sleep tonight because tomorrow I'm probably not going to update you quite so much anyway um, because I should be travelling home but I should be stopping on my way home. Then might... I'll see how it goes. I'll talk to you all later. Bye again. So um, yeah, I didn't update you again last night, did I? Uh it's my last morning. It's still raining, although it's supposed to get better today. Um, I have to check out in the next 90 minutes, so I am just pottering about getting things done and put away. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much all packed. I think now I just need to wash up the cups and plates and odds and ends that I've used. Um, get it all put in the car. Uh, I've stripped the bed like they ask you to. And yeah i'm pretty much 
all done and very sad to be going home. I've really enjoyed the last two days of just being holed up in this tiny little cabin um, which literally has room for a bed, a table and a wood burning stove um, and a couple of armchairs. And that's it, that's all that's in here. I've had to cater for myself, I've had to amuse myself and yeah, it's just been so lovely and peaceful and going to sleep when it was not raining, going to sleep in the evening with the sound of owls hunting, um, there are owls around here, waking up in the morning to the sound of pheasants um, eating in the field next door. Uh, I've had the work, I've managed to light and keep a wood burning stove going for three nights in a row. Go me. I didn't think I'd manage to do it for one night, let alone the three. Um, yeah, and I've kept myself pretty tidy. I have just about decided that I am ready to start living on my own again. Uh, I've watched hardly any telly at all, which is about right for me. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the TV um, in the last few years. There's just not very much that amuses me. I have finished two, finished three books, two of which were ones that I'd already started, uh, one of which I was only halfway through, another one I was two thirds of the way through, and started and finished one completely. But that was a romance novel and yeah, it, I, there was no way I wasn't going to start and finish that over the course of the last two days. I have now started The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman, which is the third book in his Dark Material series. And I'm really, really kind of, yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Um, it wasn't that long ago. I think it was only 12 months ago that I read uh, The Subtle Knife. Um, but I just feel really confused starting this one and I don't know why. I know what happened before. Um, I know where everyone was. I just feel a bit confused by the characters and what's going on. I think it's just that the, the wider plot that involves... Uh, Lord Asriel more I think kind of when I read The Subtle Knife it kind of bypasses me what's going on there so I think when I start the third book that's that's what I'm struggling to pick up is the Lord Asriel storyline and how he's now fitting in with Lyra and Will um but I read 70 pages uh it's a good four or five hundred pages long so I'm about a fifth of the way through it I'm not going to get any more reading done today, not of that one. Um, so I shall probably finish that over the course of the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, it's Wednesday today, isn't it? So it's the last day of September. So if I want to finish it for Bacoblathon, I need to finish it tomorrow. So I need, I will need to get some reading done <laughs> at some point today. But my plan for today is that I'm going to drive to another coastal town in North Devon called Ilfracombe. So I'm going to go and have a good look around, even if all I do is just spend an hour there, get some lunch. Um, but it is supposed to brighten up, so it should be a nice place to spend a couple of hours. They've got a tiny little aquarium. I like visiting aquariums, so I might go and visit the aquarium just a while away sometime. Um, yeah, and just, just see how the mood takes me. So I shall listen, continue listening to the audiobook that I started um, on my journey down on Sunday so I shall continue listening to that on my way to Ilfracombe and then I shall probably listen to it then from Ilfracombe home um, and just yeah just potter around <laughs> Okay, so I'm back in the car. Holiday is well and truly over. I am about to leave Ilfracombe. Um, 
I spent a bit of time just walking along the cliff face, uh, took a little bit of footage there, just getting salt air on my face. Um, beside the sea is my happy place, it has been always. Um, so whenever I get close to the sea, I just like to spend some time just looking out over it, listening to waves crashing against rocks, you know, all those cliche things, but it is just so relaxing for me. Um, I've had a bit of a wander around, went in the aquarium. I've put a little, little bit of footage on for you of that. And yeah, I'm about to head home. Um, I think it's about an hour and a half journey from here to home. So I should be home kind of mid to late afternoon-ish. Uh, and yeah, I'll, um, I'll do a proper wrap up of uh, what, I've done, what I've read this weekend. Um, and yeah, sad times. I now have to head home. So this is it. This is my last clip from my holiday. Hi again. So as you can see, I'm back in my bedroom. I'm home from the holiday. It is now Thursday morning. Um, well, actually it's Thursday lunchtime. I had a really long, lazy morning this morning. Still in holiday mode, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come on and do a brief wrap up. I in total managed to read finish three books uh two of those were books that i'd already started one of those i started and finished while i was away and i read in excess of 800 pages over the course of the whole um two full days really of reading um and obviously i had a little bit of time on sunday while i was traveling when i did some reading uh, but the first book that i finished was Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. I did talk about this when I finished it. Absolutely loved it. It's a Greek myth retelling of um, Theseus, uh, but it's told from Ariadne's point of view rather than Theseus' point of view. And I'm actually really loving these uh, Greek myth retellings that are being told from different points of view, uh, from the historical versions of them. So I'm looking forward to picking up more in this vein, hopefully later this year second book that I finished was uh, One Day Like This by Scarlett Cole which is a romance novel, contemporary romance novel set around Matt and Iz. Matt is in a band based in Manchester who are trying to make it big and Iz is the little sister of his best friend who is also his bandmate and she has been declared off limits um, which the band all agreed to however Matt and Iz have been in love since they were in their teens and this is the final they give in and come together and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I said earlier on in uh, the video that I was exactly what I needed. I was feeling a bit slumpish and I think I do just need some light reads at the moment just to, to keep me going. Um, however, I do have some heavier reads that are on the go that I need to finish as well. So I think it's something for me to bear in mind. And then the final book that I finished was Traitors of the Black Crown by Kate Pearce. And this was a fantasy novel in excess of 500 pages. And again, I kind of, I had mixed feelings about this one. I like the ideas that the, the author had. Um, I enjoyed the romance. I just think, don't think the two, the fantasy and the romance weren't meshed together very well. Um, the first half of the book deals with the romance. The second half of the book deals with the fantasy setting. Um, so yeah, so those were the three books that I managed to finish. I also listened to an audiobook, or all by half an hour of an audiobook, which was Raced by Kay Bromberg. Um, this was a reread for me. It's um, a bind up of some chapters of her Driven, Fueled and Crash series, um, but they're told from Colton's point of view instead of Riley's point of view. And really enjoyed it, really enjoyed delving back into Colton's head and figuring out where he was um, and how he came to terms with the fact that this consummate playboy is becoming a one woman man. Uh, so I really enjoyed that while I was traveling, certainly kept my mind um, occupied while I was traveling as well as obviously being occupied with driving. Um, and yeah, and that was what I managed to get through on this wonderful reading weekend. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed the journey with me, the quiet and peace that I had 
I have actually already started thinking about when I'm going to go back, probably next summer, um, probably around about my birthday, um, because I, I would love to spend some time in there in sunny weather. Um, because it was just so clear, There's, it's completely off the beaten track, no street lights, and I would just love to be able to end the evening looking up at the stars, um, reading a good book while drinking some alcohol. Um, and yeah, it was just thoroughly restful and relaxing, and although I'd taken my phone with me and I was vlogging, um, I did spend some time on Facebook and Instagram, uh, but I, I felt disconnected from the world because I, I messaged my family a few times, but I had nothing to do with my job. And it was just exactly what I needed, just a complete break away from everything. And I'm really glad that I did it. And I'm looking forward to doing it again next year sometime. So yes, that's the end of my holiday vlog. Uh, this is a bonus video, so I normally put uh, videos up on Mondays at 6.30pm. Um, so if you've enjoyed this one, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye!